Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Alessandro Boncio came up with another great technique I'm gonna share with you today, and it has to do with using the volume builder and volume measure. And if you've ever used them and had artifacts on the edges, I'm gonna show you a really interesting technique for clearing them up. All right, so we're gonna use a piece from our hard surfaces pack, and we have a whole bunch of different hard surface elements. And I'm gonna grab one of these, and we'll just double click this and add it to our scene. I'll take the texture off so that we can see it a little bit better. And we're gonna add this to a volume uh, builder. And first thing we'll do is we'll take the voxel size down quite a bit. And then we're gonna add a volume measure and put this into the volume measure. And this will be our output file. So it looks really good if you zoom out, everything looks great, but you can see that there's quite a few little artifacts around the edges. And that's primarily where they're gonna show up if you're using the volume measure is a lot of these edges. And so what we can do is actually isolate these edges by using a curvature map. So if we go to our measure, we have a option for create curvature map. And if we check that on and then click on both, we're gonna generate a um, curvature map here. And what we can do now is I'm gonna make a backup copy and turn it off just in case we need to go back to it. But let's hit C on this volume measure. And now we have a polygon object, but we also have this curvature map here, which is really handy because we're gonna be using this in a smoothing deformer. So we'll go to our measure here and let's add a deformer and it's gonna be the smoothing deformer. We'll put that inside of that object. And if we look at this smoothing deformer, we have the strength and a couple other options, but we also have a stiffness map. And what you can do is use the curvature map as a stiffness map. And we're gonna drag the stiffness map into here. And before we do the before and after, let's go to that map and let's make a few modifications to it. So we can easily tweak the settings by clicking on use fields. And if we go to the fields, let's delete this freeze. And we're going to be referencing the same object. So we'll take that um, polygon object and we'll drag it into the slot here. And if we click on it, we can go to this curvature tab and turn that on. And if we turn that on, basically we'll have all the options to modify it. So we can change the radius and we can increase the radius to make it a bit wider and include more area. And we can probably change this cur curvature mode to both. And you can see that we're getting a bit of a wider, smoother selection here. And that's gonna be great because when we turn on our smoothing, it'll cover a bit more area. So let's see the before, and then we'll turn on the after here. So you can see that we're having a bit of artifacting, and then let's turn on the smoothing. And you can see that it clears all that up immediately. So here's the before again. You can see even if we hit render, all these little artifacts are gonna be visible. You can see them right here. And just by using that curvature map and using the smoothing, you can see that it's gonna clear all that up. And the great thing about this technique is it's not smoothing out your whole model and deforming it. It's only smoothing those edges based on the curvature map. And that's usually where all the artifacts show up. So if you ever use the volume builder and measure, this is a great technique, especially if you're using text, it really cleans things up well for motion design. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. If you're interested in the hard surface pack, you can grab that at the Pixel Lab store. And we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.